This is John Young with the Weekend Handyman. We are at the GIE Show here in Louisville, Kentucky, looking at some of the cool things. And we're at the Husqvarna booth right now looking at, well, the smart switch system. And you've got to check this out. I've got Sean here. Sean, you got to tell us a little bit more about this smart switch system. Thanks, John. I really appreciate you coming to the booth today. The smart switch was released last year, and uh, we've had great success with this product in the marketplace. It brought some intuitive nature and some safety to the, uh, to the lawn and garden products. Uh, we're going to bring you over and show you the, pro the, the uh, smart switch on a tractor and give you some indication of how we did that. Generally speaking, on uh, any tractor in the marketplace today, you've got an ignition key that you can lose, you can leave turned on, or it could be an invite for a child to come in and turn the ignition key. By shifting to a uh, purely electronic interface, we've removed a lot of that uh, capacity. It's very simple in its execution. When the operator sits on the seat, the smart switch will light up and it'll be looking for its code. Uh, you can choose a code from anywhere from one to three depressions of these three buttons on the bottom side. In this particular case, in three, two, one, and you'd hit the smart switch button. If everything is great, it'll blink green, you push the button and the engine will start. Now we have that capacity because our endurance engines have a ready start, which is an automatic choking system, and that allows us to have true one-touch starting, which is a great innovation. From an intuitive nature, we wanted to have something that told the operator or led them to a successful start. So what would happen if the operator didn't have the park brake on, for, for instance, or forgot to take their, shut their blades off, Smart Switch is going to tell you that, so you don't even have an attempt at starting until you corrected your safety faults. Park brake down, PTO off, now you're back into a ready mode, push the button and the engine's going to start. Since we have electronics on board here that also lent us opportunities for some clever things like checking your battery status, pushing and holding the battery button will make the smart switch button change color to tell you is it green good, is it in between for a nominal battery charge or is it red saying you should really charge the, the unit. Also have mow and reverse built in to the smart switch so if you wanted to cut in reverse it's simple touch of the button and, and off you go. If you happen to uh, go in reverse with the blades on and didn't have it activated only the deck will shut off, the engine will not shut off and this will flash to tell you that you can't do what you're trying to do because you're not in mow and reverse mode. Push the button, it'll light up to tell you they're in mow and reverse mode and off you go again. And then putting it back to sleep is as simple as uh, pushing two buttons and it'll shut off. It all times out, so if you get off the unit and walk out into the garage 30 seconds after you've left the machine, it automatically all shuts off. And last but not least, we have LED lights as standard equipment on smart switch units. One touch of the button brings on your LED lights uh, very high high visibility for uh, low light conditions. Wow, that's really cool. If people would like to find out more information, where can they go? Uh, we have uh, many, many Husqvarna dealers across the country, of course, and then Husqvarna.com will have all the answers you need. Great. Thanks, Sean. You're welcome. This is John Young with the Weekend Handyman.